Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to look at some physics. We are told that uh, the figure below shows a CRO screen display trace when the wire amplification control and the time base settings are 100 millivolts and 0 0.8 milliseconds per centimeter respectively. Therefore, in the wire amplification control, we have uh, 100 millivolts and in the time base, which is the x-axis, we have 0 0.8 milliseconds per division, or rather per centimeter. Therefore, we are told to first of all calculate the peak voltage. So the peak voltage or the peak potential difference in the CRO is going to be determined by, remember in the wire settings or in the wire control, we have a one two three four centimeters or other divisions from the mean position we can also count on the lower side of the wave one two three four divisions and per division we have 100 millivolts so which means the peak voltage is going to be the peak voltage is going to be the number of divisions multiplied by the control setting or the wire setting. So we shall have four divisions multiplied by 100 millivolts. So to make them volts, we divide by a thousand so that we may have volts. Therefore, the volts here are going to be zero. 0.4 volts that is part a part b of the same question is telling us to determine the frequency of the signal so the frequency of the signal we're going to consider the x-axis setting or rather the time base setting which is 0 0.8 milliseconds per division per every centimeter and we are going to look at the number of divisions in a whole cycle so in a whole cycle, because the time base has a setting of uh, 0 0.8 milliseconds, then we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 divisions in one cycle, or rather one oscillation. Then we are going to have periodic time first. Remember, we are getting frequency. So periodic time or other period T which will be given by the number of divisions in one complete cycle multiplied by the time base setting. The time base setting. So the time base setting is going to be 0 0.8 milliseconds which means we have to divide it with a thousand to make it seconds times eight divisions so 0 0.8 times eight then we divide by a thousand this will give us 6.4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of negative three seconds because the number of seconds in a complete cycle will give us period now to get frequency we need to get the reciprocal of period so 1 out of 6.4 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 this is going to give us when we take the reciprocal we're going to get 156.25 adds the unit of frequency